Welcome to another Plan 6 Parts video. Today's video, I want to talk about a little bit about piston heads. So, on the engine block, um, if you're changing the pistons like we are in this one here, uh, you want to, if you're measuring the actual, um, the, your valve itself, or should I say, the, um, the sleeve, the piston sleeve, um, it's, it's best to know what kind of piston was in it. Now, if you have original pistons that were in it, uh, they're going to look like this. So this one is one that came out, and you can see it's stamped A. Most of them are stamped A or B. Now, what's the difference? There's actually a difference in size, believe it or not. And if you look at the manual, it'll tell you the difference in size. But how do you know what was in what? So um, if you've taken these off and the stamp is worn off or you don't see and you don't know which one came out or what, what you can actually do is look at the engine block. So just here on the number uh, six, if you look carefully, you can actually see the stamps. And this is on every block, the providing that's not worn down. So if, it's hard to see, but this one says A, A, B. And then if you come up this end, which is just here, I know it's really hard to see in the camera, but it actually says B, B, B. So I know this was A, A, B, 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 B. That's how you were taken out. So again, it's hard to see, but like, I'll zoom in a bit. If I actually, if I focus in, or am moving, there, a little bit. So you can actually see the A, A, if you can make it out, it's hard to see in the camera, but I know it's a B because when I cleaned the engine, I could see that was a B. And again, they're right up here. It's very hard to tell, but it's actually, you can just see this B. There's a B there, and then the last one was a B. So if you're doing it and you want to measure to see what size, if you need to go, uh, what distance is, your top, uh, middle, and bottom, that's how you know. Just in the event that when you, if you take the piston out, and like I said, if if they have uh, if they're not stamped, uh, or they've already been changed, like this one already had changed to a uh, standard size, so this has already had them changed because more all the modern ones just say STD for standard. But if you want to know what measurements you are, uh, that's where you'll find the stamps. So I hope that's useful for you when you go to to measure the gap and make sure it's within range, unless you need to get it machined. So uh, that's it. So, uh, any other questions, uh, let me know. And the information is in the book. So, if you go to the pages of the uh, the actual pistons, it will tell you A and B, and it will tell you the actual the, the measurements or the, the, uh, the range in which you have to be in. No different than the range of, um, like, if you were doing the big ends or the bearings, you've only used so much play before you have to go to an oversized. These are the exact same, so you measure your top, middle, and bottom. So... That's where you know which piston was in which one uh, to do your readings. So thanks for watching. Hopefully it was useful. Thank you.